What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I've moved to a new location and so I wasn't able to put a video out yesterday, uh, but I do wanna talk a little bit. At the end of this video, I'll show you guys where I am so you'll, you'll, you'll know I'm in a different city in Colombia. Um, but I wanted to talk because I had some people asking me this question. Actually, I had a lot of people asking me this question about this new bill, this Inflation Reduction Act uh, that they're going to try to pass uh, through the Senate and then hopefully get it passed. Well, if they can get it past the Senate, they'll be able to get it past the House. So that's what I want to focus on today because people are asking me that question of, of what does it do for me? Like, how will it help me? And so in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of different provisions that are in this bill that hopefully will help the American people. Now, we don't have anything on paper yet. This is just stuff that we've been hearing. Uh, so we're going to see the actual language sometime next week, and then we'll be able to talk a little bit more about it. But what we've heard so far, how can it help the American people? That's what I want to focus on today. But first off on this channel, we talk about money and the financial struggles that Americans are facing today. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's it's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. And I'm not going into too much detail because, like I said, we this is this is a verbal agreement at this point. Okay, and this is pretty much an agreement between uh, Senator Schumer and Senator Manchin. And they've they've come together. They've negotiated. They've been negotiating for a little while now. Uh, we heard that Senator Manchin was going to pull out and say he didn't want. Uh, to move forward with anything until he had more information. Well, it looks like we're at a point now where they, they're, going, they're going to move on. And I want to talk about one thing, too, when it comes to the way that they negotiated this deal, uh, because it left Republicans really, really upset. Now, first off, this bill will be a reconciliation bill, which means all they need are 50 Senate Democrats. So if you get the 50 Senate Democrats, they'll be able to pass this. They'll just need uh, Kamala Harris to come in, the vice president to come in and break the tie. So that's what we'd be looking at when it comes to this bill. But they got one over on the Republicans because the Republicans did not want to move forward with the, the CHIPS Act if the Democrats wanted to move forward with this bill, okay? And so that was kind of the talk. That was, uh, Mitch McConnell was saying that they're, they're going to, they're not gonna vote on this CHIPS Act if they wanna move forward, if the Democrats wanna move forward uh, with this Inflation Reduction Act. And so what happened is they actually moved forward with the CHIPS Act. And then on that same day, we heard Senator Schumer and Senator Manchin had reached a deal when it came to this, this bill, okay? So Senator Manchin was kind of holding out before. And so I think by Senator Manchin holding out and saying that he didn't wanna move forward with certain provisions of this bill, that's why Republicans thought, okay, well, you know what, Senator Manchin's not gonna go with this bill, so we'll go ahead and move forward with the CHIPS Act. But as soon as they move forward with this CHIPS Act, that's when we heard the news. And so uh, Democrats were able to get one over because now Republicans, the Senate Republicans, they had already voted for the CHIPS Act. And so they couldn't, they couldn't come back off that. The vote was already done. It had to go through the House. But guess what? The House is, is D Democrats really control the House. And all you need is a majority. You don't need the 60 votes that you need in the Senate. So you don't need that, that super majority uh, that you need in the Senate. So that's what we were looking at. And that's why they kind of, and it, I almost want to say, you know, and Senator Manchin, you guys know I, I talk a lot about Senator Manchin, and usually it's not in a good light. But in this situation, maybe this was a, a plan, a plan for Senator Manchin to say, oh, yeah, you know what, I'm against this. And then as soon as they pass that CHIPS Act, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the CHIPS Act would... Uh, allow manufacturers in the U.S. to to provide more chips. Okay, so they're basically we need these chips for our cell phones, we need them for uh, cars, and, and a variety of different things, computers. And so what they did is they passed this Chips Act, where there's going to be more funding, more grants for businesses to improve their technology so they can make more chips. That's basically what it comes down to. And so as soon as that was passed, as soon as that bill was passed. And guess what? Now we're looking at a situation where this Inflation Reduction Act is a reality. Okay, so 
let's just talk a little bit about some, and I'm not gonna go into all the details. Like I said, we don't have all the details yet, but I do wanna talk a little bit about the healthcare portion because I think that's something that can help a lot of people who are receiving Medicare. And so what the plan is, they're planning to allow Medicare to negotiate prices when it comes to prescription medication. Now this would be good. Now it's not going to be for all medication, but some medication. But if you can negotiate these prices, you're gonna bring down premiums. And that's what the hope is. So if you negotiate the prices, if you can get it for a lower price, that will hopefully bring down premiums so you don't have to pay as much when it comes to uh, your, the Medicare that you're receiving. And so if you don't have to pay as much, that means more money in your pocket. If you have more money in your pocket, you can spend it on other things. That is what the plan is right now. So they're not really, I mean, when we, when we talk about lowering prescription medication, some people are saying, well, uh, I don't have a copay, so I'm not paying into, to, to, uh, my, for my prescription. Well, you have to look at the big picture. The big picture is if Medicare saves money, that means that it's more money in your pocket because you're paying less in premiums. So that's what you need to really focus on when it comes to that. Uh, so that's one part of the provision. Another part of the provision is the energy, the energy portion. And so what that will allow, let's say you have a house and you want to get solar on your house, well, you'll get credits for that. Or let's say you want to buy an electric vehicle, you'll get credits for that. And so they're really, really pushing that. Okay, so that's another portion that can help some people. Not everyone, but if you are in the market to buy an electric vehicle, it can help you. Uh, another thing, this bill will pay down the deficit. Okay, they're talking about $500 billion to pay down the deficit. So that will help us overall. Okay, we really want to drive inflation down. That's the focus and we, we have to, to, to address that. And part of addressing that would be to pay down the debt. Also what they're doing right now when they're raising interest rates, the whole plan is to lower inflation. Okay, so that's something that they wanna focus on and that can help all of us, right? When we go uh, purchase gas, it's going to help us. When we, when we go to the supermarket and buy products, it's going to help us. And so that, that was the, the main focus of this bill, to help drive down inflation. And so that can help everyone. And so inflation and lowering prescription medication, that was really the push of this bill. And so like I said, we're looking at a situation now where the Senate next week, they're going to come up with, with the language so we'll be able to know exactly what's in this bill. And the anticipation is we might see some new things in this bill because it always happens. But uh, when it comes down to it, they'll negotiate it next week. The Senate will negotiate it next week because the Senate will still be, they won't be on recess yet. They'll negotiate it and they'll go ahead and move forward and hopefully pass it through reconciliation. And then at that point, if the Senate passes it, then it goes to the House and then the House will have to be called into a special session just so they can vote on this. And then once they vote on it, then it will go to the president for final signature. Because like I said, this is going to be a Democrats only bill. Okay, Democrats are gonna be the ones moving forward with this. Republicans aren't gonna play a role when it comes to this bill. Uh, so we'll, we'll just have to follow it and see where it goes. But it does have some things that will help the American people. So I think that's good. Uh, you're, not, you're never gonna get everything that you want. Okay, that's not, uh, that that's that's not a negotiation. If, if it's a negotiate, if you get everything you want, you didn't negotiate with someone. You got everything you wanted. Uh, so when it comes down to situations like this, you're going to negotiate things in, you're going to negotiate things out, and you're never going to get everything that you want. And even if it's all Democrats that are for a bill and they're going to be the ones that are voting on the bill, there's still negotiations that have to take place. We know Senator Manchin, Senator Sinema, some of the other senators want certain things and if they can't get those things they're not going to move forward with the bill okay so if you guys have any questions please let me know down below uh, i would do want to show you guys my view here because it's a pretty nice view so let me take the camera out here and i'm in cartagena colombia okay so and i've been here before this isn't my first trip it's early in the morning right now so you see the shadows of the buildings in the in the um at the beach, uh, you know, in the water below, if you see down there. Uh, but loving my time here so far. Just got in last night. Uh, it's very, very hot, but it's a it's a nice day. It's a nice day today. And so I'm going to go out and see what's going on. But I just wanted to show you that view. And then we have another view down here. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. And one thing that I'm liking is down here, if you can see, there's construction going on. So it looks... And I, I'm not for sure, but it looks like they're making some type of uh, maybe a malacone, like a little walkway uh, for people, which is really needed in this area because you don't have, if you look down, you can just see their street here. You pretty much have to walk on the street if you're walking 
Uh, so looks like they're making something, making something pretty nice down there. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be later, later in the year. Probably they'll have that done. But uh, yeah, we're in Cartagena, Colombia. I'll be here for a few days, not not too long. Then I'm gonna head back to uh, to Medellin, Colombia. And then from that point, then I'll decide where I'm going to go from there. Uh, but all right, guys, just wanted to let you guys know what's going on when it comes to this new bill. I'll have more information next week. We'll all have more information next week and we'll be able to talk a little bit more about uh, the exact amounts. And we right now there are estimates on how much it's going to cost. And, and we already know that they're, they're going to be uh, focused on. Uh, taxing corporations more, so 15%, kind of like a, a flat tax. I, I won't call it a flat tax, a, a minimum, 15% minimum. So you can't go any lower than that. If you have a corporation, you're not going to be able to get away without paying any taxes at all. So that's that's the, the funding. That's where they're getting the funding half. So any more questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.